Good evening, everyone. I'm Christy Casciano. And I'm Jeff Kulikowski. We're following a developing story from SUNY Oneonta. The college president deciding to send students home for the rest of the fall semester to remotely learn only. Yeah, this comes as 100 more students have tested positive for the virus today, bringing the total to just shy of 400. News Channel Lines' Josh Barton joining us now with more. And Josh, I imagine the college fellow just did not have much of a choice here. Christy, this certainly forced SUNY's hand. This is the first university in New York State to send students home because of COVID-19. As we learned, there were 389 cases, positive cases on SUNY Oneonta campus this morning. And just this afternoon, the SUNY Chancellor stepping in to send students home. The college's president acknowledging in a letter to students this afternoon the risk of COVID-19 on campus and in the city of Oneonta is just too great. Students who have not tested positive will be moving out tomorrow and they will continue to do so through, in the, through the weekend and to allow students to have time to move out and pack up all their things, classes tomorrow are canceled. If a student has tested positive, they have to stay in quarantine on campus until they get a negative test. This goes to show that a small minority, just a few people, can ruin it for everyone else. And that's unfortunate. The plan, and colleges are developing plans all across the state, they develop plans, can be a great plan on paper. But if people don't comply with the plan, it won't work. SUNY Oneonta has a plan in place to issue full refunds for housing and plans to have refunds for students who had meal plans. Now, there is a chance students can stay on campus, but they have to apply to do so. And those students will be subject to mandatory COVID-19 testing and may have to move to a new building on campus. Right now, the focus is getting kids off campus safely. The Otsego County Health Department is working with SUNY Oneonta to do that. The school is also now scrambling to get online learning up and running. It'll take a two-week break from classes to do that. Jeff.